So what is God's relationship to time is a question that's really vexed me for many years. Uh, and one of my friends, she teaches kindergarten, and she had a little girl ask her this, this question once. She said, does God have a birthday? And if so, does she eat cake on her birthday? And I mean, it's a really adorable question, but what, it, what struck me about it was that it really gets to the heart of this issue. Is, is God the sort of being that begins to exist, such that God has a birthday? Um, and you know, the really serious part is, you know, is God the sort of being that has a body that he can eat cake and, and enjoy it? Um, and so I think this gets at the heart of a lot of questions in contemporary theology, is what is God's relationship to time? And there are two logically possible views you can take on this, one of which is that God is timeless, and then the other one is that God is in time or temporal. Uh, and so I'll explain what those both mean, and so then hopefully theologians can you know, figure out which view they want from there. So to say that God is timeless or outside of time means three things. First, that God exists without beginning. Number two, that God exists without end. And then number three, that God exists without succession. And this is doing all the work to say that God is outside of time. Uh, to say that God is timeless is to say that he has no succession in, in the divine life at all. God does not do one thing after another after another. He does not change in any way, shape, or form. Whereas to say that God is in time is to say that God exists without beginning and without end, but that God does have succession in his life. God was not always the creator, but at one point became the creator, and that was a new moment in the life of God. God was not always entering into a covenantal relationship with Moses, but at one point in time began to enter into this covenantal relation. God was not always incarnate, but in the fullness of time became incarnate for the sake of human salvation. And this is a new moment in the life of God. So that's really where the dividing line is between divine timelessness and divine temporality is whether or not God has succession in his life.